everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Starbound. Now, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is I've been playing a lot of Starbound, and it's an awful lot of fun. And also, by the time this video goes up, the beta should be up. Let's put our sword here in slot number two, if it's possible. The bad news is, because we are in the beta here, uh, occasionally saves and characters are going to be deleted, and that is unfortunately what has happened to me. So we're starting from basically zero here, but you know, I'm playing as Planet of the Apes man here, as you can tell by these mutton chops here, uh, which is a bit of a saving grace, I would say. So we're gonna start from the get-go, and you know, if you're gonna be perturbed by the fact that, uh, you know, unfortunately we do have to start from the beginning, then I apologize to you, but you know, this is how the series is gonna go because the, it's in beta so far, so unfortunately, you know, you might be saying, hey, you should invest like five hours and get your character back to the point where it was at, but eventually, you know what happens if I have a 20 hour save and that gets deleted, it becomes kind of impractical. So we're just gonna have some fun playing Starbound here, and you know, we're on a different planet, so things are a little bit different uh, every single time. Okay, I thought maybe that would be a native that was actually nice to us, but apparently not. Now, because we streamed Starbound uh, a couple of days ago, I actually did learn some new things about it that should allow me to progress a little bit faster. So obviously, objective number one is build a crafting table, so we're just gonna pop this open and see. Uh, first, we're gonna need wood planks. We might as well turn all of our wood into planks, if possible. That'll be 24 of those, and wooden crafting table is now ours for the taking, so our quest should be complete. Next quest, uh, build a bow and arrow. So we will get to that, but first things first, let's put down our crafting table here. And I am very quickly going to pick up some stone, and the reason I'm going to do this is so that I can get a pickaxe and an axe, which will allow me to get wood and stone substantially faster. So no more effing around with our matter manipulator here, instead we are going to get uh, tools up as soon as possible. May even build ourselves a little bit of a makeshift shelter, although usually you can just kind of find some uh, in the vicinity. So just a little bit of stone here should be enough, and uh, I believe via our planks I should have more than enough wood. To make this happen. Hey, additionally, there's some uh, good news. After streaming it uh, the other day, someone was nice enough to let me know that there's not like some kind of mercurial, like fuel, chemical fuel or something uh, for your ship. You can actually just use coal and unrefined wood, which was kind of surprising to me uh, as a way to well, obviously craft this and uh, an axe as well. We need more stone. We need more stone. Okay. Uh, but we have a pickaxe, so it's going to be much easier to get stone now. Uh, but you can use uh, unrefined wood and coal as fuel sources for your ship, so I'm looking forward to maybe getting enough fuel to explore another planet this time. So maybe instead of going for that distress beacon, once we get the, the basic stuff built here, uh, we will get to work on just trying to get enough fuel to explore another planet. Now, I don't know if it's a one-to-one -one ratio. If you need a thousand coal or like a thousand unrefined wood in order to fuel your ship, uh, that's probably something that I'm maybe going to... Not, I'll, I'll handle it off camera if we're gonna do it that way, but um, let's just get our stone axe up here in our inventory. And we'll put these other cobblestone blocks here. Okay, so we do need to build a bow and arrow, so we'll uh, get to work on getting some plant fibers, which you get from vines, and there is a vine down here. Um, since I don't have a bow, I'm a little bit concerned about the way that I'm gonna take out this asshole right here. We could also use some coal. If I'm gonna go back to the ship, I might as well test it, but... Um, I need some more coal for torches as well. Coal, of course, a, a very important resource in, like, all of these survival games, in the early game at least. So, I don't really want to just drop down here. I wonder if this, like, 20-eyed alien is, uh, antagonistic. I'm gonna go ahead and guess probably? He's not dead yet? He looks, like, super dead. Okay, well, at least we got some pixels out of it there. And can I use my axe to break this vine? No, we can just use our matter manipulator. All right, so it's very important to get this bow up as soon as possible. You know, the, one of the benefits of redoing your save is that you are going to be able to do a lot of this stuff a little bit faster than we previously would have been able to. Plus, I like Orphton more than I like our old character. So let's pop open this vine here, and any second now, this will provide me with some plant fiber. Hopefully, I just, yeah, I picked up 12 there. Uh, that I can use in order to accomplish my objective. So we'll go back here and build a bow. And that objective will be complete. Do I, did I remember the, the ingredients properly? Hunting, oh, what do I need? Unrefined, oh, okay, so I, I have planks. I need unrefined wood. Okay, so that shouldn't be an issue. We'll come back over here, and with our axe, we'll be able to get 10 unrefined wood in approximately, like, zero seconds. Since you can chop these trees down so much more quickly, you might as well check and see, uh how much fuel this will garner for our ship as well, because if I can leave this planet, I would like to. It seems like everybody here is already pretty angry at my existence. I was disappointed that my character got deleted, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to get an opportunity to try again as well. So, hunting bow. Fantastic. That has been crafted, and now uh, I will get some meat. So we're gonna put this in our inventory, maybe in the number four slot. Probably not gonna need those banana seeds anytime soon. 
And we'll try to get some meat, and that will allow us to... Well, we already can build a campfire, but that will allow us to eat, which is, of course, important in any game with a, a hunger meter. And as a result, we'll be able to progress. And then we'll start working on seeing uh, how much fuel we'll need to get. Oh, I mean, we, do, we need a thousand fuel. We'll start seeing how much fuel the uh, unrefined wood and coal give us. So, that is a hide, unfortunately, so we will need to actually go hunt, hunt uh, some more meat here. That's okay. Those guys look pretty menacing, but... Also, they can't jump, so they're like Woody Harrelson in that movie, you know, Kingpin. Uh, weird, the health bar on these guys is not visible. I wonder if that's something that has changed uh, in the most recent beta build of the game. Weird! In any case, though, you are going to be dead probably in one more arrow, and we pick up another hide. Fantastic! <laughs> more things I don't really need. Oh, shit, okay. I didn't realize that you could actually jump this high. This is okay, though. Let's keep firing some arrows in here, and it seems like the bow is way better. Maybe that's because I have, a, like, I don't know, the Planet of the Apes dudes are better at using the arrows. Who knows? There's meat for us, so let's just build a campfire quickly. And that'll be, you know, it's not quite where we were at in the last episode, but it is pretty close. Uh, so with our campfire, we'll just put this down, like, here. No need to put it in a quick slot. And we can put our meat on the campfire, like so. And as a result, we'll eat this, and we won't be nearly as hungry anymore. We could, all, we might as well plant some food as well. Uh, I don't see a problem with that. Okay, accept reward, absolutely. So now we can make a furnace and smelt some iron bars. That's probably a good idea, but I'm going to diverge from the common path a little bit here. I don't even think we need to eat right now. So let's get ourselves a little bit more unrefined wood, and we'll keep some of it, because obviously wood is a, a very important resource for, you know, growth in games like this. But additionally, we're going to want to uh, see if we can fuel up our ship and go to a different planet, because I'm really excited to get to the exploration aspect of the game. And, you know, I have no reason to believe that Planet X is better than Planet Y. That being said, Planet X sucks, Planet Y for life. Let's get out of this planet. Um, I wish I had the opportunity, maybe you do later, uh, the opportunity to, like, say your planets or name your planet yourself because you know they're always like planet alpha who gives a crab 29 but uh i would like to just name it like you know orphtantopia i want to role play as this guy he's like a colonist i wonder if I, I i mean i don't really need more meat i mostly just want to take out this enemy so that i can uh feel reasonably safe in my own backyard here mind you i guess i am you know like a colonist who has just come to their planet and is destroying it and that makes me the asshole but sure okay by the way, I did not realize that you could actually have your flashlight and a tool out at the same time. That is probably why everyone was yelling at me on Twitch to take my flashlight out. I was like, I'm not going to use my flashlight, I need to use my axe. So we're going to uh, chop up as much of this unrefined wood as we possibly can and then take it onto our ship. Uh, I imagine we're probably going to need a lot more than this to fuel a spaceship, as far as I can guess. Uh, as of right now, you know, obviously this game takes place in the future, but um, I, I doubt uh, the current engineering allows us to go to space uh, just using wood as a fuel, or we would need an awful lot of it. But uh, let's check it out here. So we're going to uh, go through our Mega Man X-style boss door here, and let's put some fuel in this bad boy. Where is unrefined wood? Am I going crazy? There it is, unrefined wood. So we put it in here. That's 300 out of 1,000, so it is like a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm just going to put 150 in it right now. What is, I've got like two backpacks here. One backpack and one, I don't know, pouch or something. So this is cool. Um, if I click fuel, will that just fuel it up? Yeah, it will. Interesting. Now let's do a little bit of exploration and see how much uh, value coal will provide. We're going to need coal, coal for torches anyway. You know what? As much as I just insulted the name of the planet that I was on like 10 seconds ago, Alpha Wonton, the greatest name uh, for a planet in my opinion. Also, a fairly delicious soup. In my opinion, at least. So we'll get some pixels here for killing them. Uh, you know, as we're making our way here, we might as well pick up some more unrefined wood. Because if we eventually have to fuel our ship with 150 of this, well, so be it, right? Um, it's it's nice that it's a one-to-one -one ratio, but it would be nicer if we can get something that's a little bit better. Um, I assume it can only be better than that. So, you know, maybe coal is like a two-to-one or a ten-to-one ratio or something like that. That would make sense given it's... Um, is this tree, like, indestructible or something? Uh, that would make sense, given its relative rarity, I guess. I guess we'll leave that tree alive and probably do a little bit of spelunking, if necessary, to pick up some coal. Because right now, it appears that we are in a very forest-rich region, but we don't really have... Um, I don't really want to crack this open this way, but I guess it's faster. Did we pick up 114 unrefined wood from that chest, or was that just uh, additional runoff at the bottom of the screen there? That's probably what it was. Um, so I'll just continue chopping up some more of this. 
We know we need wood for planks anyway, so... Again, I apologize if you're not interested in stream of consciousness dialogue, but if you are watching a Let's Play of a sandbox simulator game, I am assuming that you are either accustomed to it or will about to be accustomed to it. Also, please, no wisecracks about the uh, unfortunate state of my understanding of the English language. In any case, we're probably up to like another 300 uh, unrefined wood, nearly. More pixels, um, you know, not as many as maybe as I would like, but uh, there's some here, and we actually do have the opportunity to kind of dive deeper into the environment here, which is where we're probably likely to find coal, if I have played any of these games before, and I have, so, you know, we've already found some copper, we'll probably pick that up too, I, I doubt that you can use copper as a fuel, that wouldn't make too much sense, but, um, you know, I'm not an engineer, we'll still pick it up regardless, it may not even be copper, maybe it's bronze or something like that, who knows, but with our pickaxe, we might as well mine it, so glad that, you know, I mean, this is not me being a genius, but that I realized it's way more efficient to actually use specialized tools as opposed to just a matter manipulator for everything. I really hope we do get the opportunity to kind of uh, get a better matter manipulator at some point, though, because uh, it would be nice to have, like, one kind of tool that is, uh, you know, a good enough, uh, uh, like, a catch-all, if you will, or a do-all, I guess, in this case, uh, that would allow me to... Oh, that looks like cool. That would allow me to uh, not have to switch tools and constantly like remake tools all the time. I guess we could just get tools with higher durability as well. But anyway, uh, I think I'll need to set up some like a mining platform for myself. This might be good enough, actually. Yeah, let's do this. Man, the music in this game is so good. I, uh, you know, for the most part, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of these survival sandbox games, uh, but I am enjoying Starbound a great deal. It's the first game really since Terraria that has scratched this kind of survival itch for me. Uh, I, I thought I was over these games, but Starbound, it just takes it a little bit deeper because of that, like, space exploration aspect, and, you know, maybe I'll eventually get to that and become, you know, completely jaded to it, but for now, uh, it's recapturing that sense of wonder that, uh, I've had with, uh, or I haven't had with these games in a long time, but originally had with them uh, back in, you know, 2011 when they, they started hitting it super big. I think I'll be safe to come down here and just murder this man. Yeah, okay. It may have been a female alien. Again, I'm not trying to, you know, push any kind of gender-based agenda here. I don't even know what I'm doing down here anymore. How many, uh, like, the, the reason I'm still down here, I guess, is that we didn't get that much coal. We, st we can still use some more. Uh, I would, I, torches are one of the first things that I'd prefer to get, like, set, if at all possible. Uh, and after I get those set, then maybe we'll talk about, um, putting, using this coal for fuel on our spaceship. But for now, at least we're gonna be able to do a little bit of spelunking in here. Alright, so I am gonna take a little bit of an opportunity to mine... There is a little bit of iron here. We need iron for our next quest objective anyway. That's another thing I really like about Starbound, by the way, is uh, the fact that it's a little bit more guided of a process in the early game. Because oftentimes, it, you know, not so much with Terraria or Minecraft anymore, because it's been, um, you know, I, I've got experience with those games. But uh, when I play, uh, like, new survival games, I'm like, I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Guide me through the process here. In some sense, it takes away a little bit of the magic, and, you know, when I was sort of into Minecraft, as I was for a, a while before I started my YouTube channel back in, like, 2010, um, yeah, I, uh, I really like that, like, sense of wonder and kind of, like, I don't know what to do, bewilderment, but now I'm like, I don't have time for that, I got work to do. <laughs> Teach me how to play your game a little bit better. I may just, um, be a little, uh, aggressive here. Oh, I break the stone here so I can get, uh, that extra copper. Should probably mine all of it, but whatever. Uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of swimming down here. Do our torches still work underwater? Nope, but our flashlight should. Alright, so is there anything of value around here? Doesn't really appear so. Alright. What is our uh, coal situation if I check my inventory? Four. That is not as much as I would have expected. But I cannot end this episode until the quest for coal has become completed here. Where did you come from? Obviously there's a lot of stone down here, but we don't really need too much more of that. Um... I would like to make a spinning wheel so that I could maybe make a bed. That would be something I would be very interested in. I think I see a little bit more coal. There's also a little bit more copper here, which I'll pick up. How do I get the flashlight and the uh, tool out at the same time? You know, some of these aliens are actually nice to you, or at least passive towards you, when you first get started. I don't believe that that is the case right here, though. Um, also, you can't use tools to attack aliens unless it happens by accident, I think. You know, in Terraria, you could totally use... Uh, ooh, uh, you could totally use, like, a, a pickaxe to just attack zombies or something like that, but in this, it does not appear that that is a uh, likely course of action. Because you have to actually be pointing it at something that uh, is relevant for that tool's needs, if that makes sense. Now, um, 
Tools needs largely uh, cans of old Milwaukee, by the way. But anyway. Um, can I murder this cute, cuddly alien? He's not a cute, cuddly alien. He looks like a cute, cuddly alien, but he's actually kind of a dick when you look at it objectively, I think. Bad swimmer, too. Um, oh, there's a lot of coal down there. So that's where I'm going to focus my efforts here. Hopefully we don't die. I should probably be using my bow a little bit more often because I can get meat out of it as well. I haven't eaten anything, but um, I have cooked meat in my inventory, so if we have to eat something, we can. Please tell me that just by using my bow and arrow, I should be able to keep this guy uh, at bay. At Michael Bay. At the Hudson's Bay Company. Hudson's Bay Company doesn't exist in the U.S., does it? Maybe that is a joke that's not going to play for too much of my audience. All right, so we're just going to basically spam fire some... Oh, my God! Just... Jesus Christ, time to fire some Parthian shots here! Um... My lord, they are substantially better at platforming than I am. You probably knew that, though, from watching many of my series, if you have. Or if you're just joining me, then, you know, hello, welcome to Starbound, and welcome to the Northern Lion channel. You're seeing me at my worst! But if you don't, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Marilyn Monroe, Michael Scott. Uh, okay, that did, like, next to no damage. That's okay, though. Get away from me, you alien dick. Now, more coal. This is good news. We can make torches on the fly, but again, I, I at least, by the end of this episode, I at least want to see how much fuel uh, coal provides, and then we'll decide whether we'd rather just grind wood for a little while, which, if you want to know more about that, might I suggest that you ask your mother, but um, we'll, we'll either grind wood or maybe coal is actually going to be effective. If it provides, like, a 10 to 1 ratio, uh, like, one fuel equals, or sorry, one coal equals 10 fuel, then we would need, what, like, another 70 coal ore, which seems substantial considering how much we've found so far, but might be faster than getting a thousand wood, or it might not be. I'm still getting over the fact that our fucking ship can travel through space just using wood as a fuel, like, just lumber. That's pretty crazy. Uh, you try powering your car on lumber, see how that works. You can barely heat a house on it these days. Alright, you know, you're being kind of a jerk, uh, weird alien who I thought was actually gonna be friendly to me when I first landed on this planet. Cornelius, out! We're gonna go back to our, uh, kind of, uh, settlement here. I'm not really too settled into it yet, but I guess a faster way to do this would just be beam back to the ship and then, uh, beam down to the area that we all know and love, but instead, I'm gonna handle it this way. Lot th the one complaint I have about Starbound, it's not even really a complaint, it's just that, you know, it, it does kind of turn that uh, traditional survival sandbox rhythm on its head. Like, most of the time when you're playing a game uh, like this, like Terraria, like Minecraft, etc., etc., I've got to time my shots better than that, there's just no excuse. Um, you, your daytime is your time for building and exploration, and your nighttime is your time to barricade yourselves against the forces of evil. Unfortunately, uh, for me at least, we don't really have that luxury here because there's still a ton of aliens and uh, aggressive aliens that appear during the daytime. It's worse at nighttime, but uh, no longer is the daytime a bastion of safety, which I guess is actually positive because it keeps the idea of danger prevalent, uh, which is what a lot of survival games kind of suffer from. Why would I even just... I, I was going to go back here anyway. Um, let's, let's see how much fuel coal provides. That's what I'm getting at. We can put coal in here, and oh, this is a two to one ratio. So we're gonna save our coal for sure, and we'll use uh, we'll use some more unrefined wood. So we'll just put another 172 in there. So probably grinding wood appears to be the uh, best way for sure to fuel up your spaceship. So let's get down here, and um, with the amount of stone that we have, and the fact that we uh, we have more coal as well, we can absolutely build a stove here. So let's go to our uh, crafting table. And we will build a... I should just type it in. Where's our stove? Stove... ST... Oh... Cooking... F furnace? Furnace? Stone furnace. What am I missing? More cobblestone? Oh, I'm missing a campfire. Okay, well, we'll make a campfire first. Oh, what am I missing here? I need a torch. Okay, so we'll make a torch first. Okay, so we're making some torches. Um, We're gonna make a lot of them. Nine might not be a lot. But anyway, this allows us to go down the rabbit hole here. Obviously, we're destined to eat some food here as well. Craft our campfire, and then craft our furnace. Okay. As a result, we'll be able to pop this down. Our quest should be complete. And they want us to smelt an iron bar, which is another thing that we should be able to accomplish right away. So we're actually, in spite of the fact that I did a lot of different things in this episode, we've accomplished as much, maybe even a little bit more than we accomplished on our last, uh, or on our first episode last time. So there's our furnace. Uh, let's eat our meat. Not beat our meat. That's something completely different. Again, you could maybe ask your mother about that. There we go. Delicious food. Not quite as hungry. 
Might as well take this opportunity, actually, to uh, cook a little bit more on our campfire. I said on our campfire, not on the crafting table. There we go. So three meat should cook reasonably quickly. Don't need to eat another one just yet, I would say, but we'll pop it down here. And we can also get to some smelting, so we want to make... Oh, we only have one iron ore? That's so disappointing. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll smelt some copper bars anyway. And remember, we need a, a ton of these in order to make that distress beacon. But we might not make the distress beacon on this planet because uh, we could fly to another planet perhaps before we uh, have that opportunity to do so. I'd say this this is going pretty well so far. We'll also be able to make... Is this coal ore? Yeah, you don't... You can smelt coal ore? What does it make? No, you can. Okay. Um... I guess that's all the ore we really have. Before we finish the episode, why don't we just, uh, you know, plant some seeds. Can, can I do it like this? Maybe I'll put them in my quick bar and that'll make it easier. Um, oh, they are in my quick bar. Okay. Um, maybe they have to be planted in, in soil? Oh, so you probably need, like, a hoe to plant it. That didn't come out the way I did. Oh, you're moonwalking into my general direction! Okay, jerkwad. You're using the body slam? That's fine. I can just kill you with knockback, basically. Okay, so before we end, we'll, we'll build, like, a, st uh, a stone hoe. What are we... We're missing planks now? All right, we'll make some freaking planks, then. Don't need too many. We have so much unrefined wood, we could probably get away with, like, I don't know, 50 for now. Uh, and then we should be able to make a stone hoe. And we'll craft that. And then we'll till the ground, and we'll start making a food farm for ourselves here. Uh... First, I've got to put, well, I don't have to, but I'm going to put this in my quick bar, maybe in place of the wheat seeds, which maybe are not that useful for me right now. See, I've played survival games before. You just, you mill, or you till the ground, and then we'll be ready to plant some seeds here. So, carrot, good to go. Probably need to give you some space. Why don't we plant uh, one over here, maybe one right next to the furnace, so it, you know, gets that white light, white heat thing going on. And um, this is probably just about the, the worst farm, like, I've ever seen in my entire life. We'll just, I want it to be leveled just so my OCD isn't go too crazy here. My, my fake OCD, of course. No disrespect meant to people with the uh, real affliction. Uh, there we go. That's pretty good. All right, so let's till the ground a little bit more here, uh, like so. I thought maybe tilling the ground would allow us to uh, get more seeds out of that grass. Maybe it does. And we should be able to plant some more. Uh, delicious plants as well, and this will allow us to reach, uh, you know, self-sustaining a little bit faster, probably. We have we have more wheat seeds, right? Wheat seed. One. We have one wheat seed. Okay, we'll just pop that bad boy down right there. Oh, no, we have more. Never mind. I'm an idiot. And one right there, and we should be good to go. Okay, that's where I'm going to end this episode. As always, thanks for watching. The support that you've shown this Starbound series so far has been incredible. Uh, I take no credit for that. You guys are the ones, and uh, of course, also the developers themselves, uh, for making this amazing game. Thank you so much for watching so far. I apologize for angering you, weird bird man. Uh, as always, if you'd like to continue showing your support if you enjoyed this episode, uh, make sure to click the like button. It does help me out a great deal. And subscribe if you want to see more Daily Starbound. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode. Hope you enjoyed it.